Dude, he's got so much more room to swim around. Freaking huge nurse shark coming right at us. Dude, look at the coloration on that fish. Okay, it is time to get this beautiful emperor angel into the aquarium. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are here at the 200 gallon and today we are going to be picking up one of the most beautiful saltwater fish I think exists, that being the Emperor Angel fish. I got a call from Predatory Fin saying he got a couple in. On video they look about this big. We don't know exactly how big they are until we go and see them. But pretty much before we go and pick up the Emperor Angel for the 200 gallon aquarium, we are going to be moving Batman as you guys know. We had him in here until the saltwater pond was all finished with treatment. We just did a whole water change on it and it is now time to move Batman into there. So what we're gonna do before we leave is we're gonna take Batman out, move him into the 3,000 gallon saltwater pond, and then we're gonna head to Predatory Fins and pick up the new Emperor Angel for the 200 gallon. All right, we gotta get this top off. This is gonna be hard. Batman's a big fish. He's been doing really good, eating a lot. He's gotta go into a bigger home. We're gonna move him into the pond, and the pond is all ready now. Fish are looking a lot better. They're eating, we tested the water. There's not really much copper left in it since we did the water change, so got the nets. I don't know which net we're gonna, we're gonna try both, but pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna net Batman. Once we net him, we'll then bring him to the saltwater pond. We're not gonna be doing an acclimation process. That will stress him out 10 times more than just moving him over. Plus all the water and the temperature is the same in all systems around here. So he'll be fine. This is the less stressful way as possible. And um, yeah, here we go. If I can get him head first, boom, just like that. Literally perfect. All right. Okay, we got Batman right there in the net. Let's run to the pond. We got Batman. Be nice to him. That man's a big fish, so he'll be able to hold his own ground in here, but look how much more room. Yeah, dude, he's got so much more room to swim around, all this flow, fish are doing awesome. Look at him, just swimming in the current. But like I said, guys, the water quality in here is perfectly fine for him. We just did a huge water change. But yeah, Batman's just swimming around. The fish are probably like, what is that? They haven't seen a new fish in this pond in a while since we were going through treatment. But like I said before, treatment is pretty much all done. We're just watching the fish now. And as of right now, they're showing really good signs. They're feeding, colors look good. Bumblebee is just like, what in the world is that? But there is no chance anything in here can eat Batman. He's a big boy. Now that Batman is finally in the 3,000 gallon saltwater pond, everything seems to be getting along with him. We'll now see you guys at Predatory Fins. All right, we're here at Predatory. We're gonna head in, uh, check out these bad boys. Our Emperor Angel, or Angels, are in here. So there's a Korean Angel, there's an Emperor Angel, there's two Emperor Angels. There's two right there, Emperor Angels, and then right in that corner, there's a Korean Angel, along with some little blue line groupers. This is honestly pretty sick. It's like a big bin, just because they can't go with all the big predatory fish, so they're in here. As you can see, that guy's on his side. He's not doing so good from shipping. He still is like a little tired and everything, so we don't want to stress him out by moving him even more. So we may go with that Emperor Angel. He's really pretty, looks good, fins look good and I think he would be a great addition to the 200 gallon. So with that being said, we're gonna pick out one of these guys. I'm not sure which one. I'm debating between the Korean and the regular Emperor. Here, you can get a little better look from here, but you can really see their colors. But you can see the stripes on that guy compared to this guy who has like, he's more like got blue fins and stuff. I don't know, that Emperor's dude, gorgeous. So I think we're gonna go with the Emperor. And I can't forget about this, but if you look right below this man, look at the size of those Tessalata eels, green moray eel. Blue and yellow cod, bumblebee grouper, freaking huge nurse shark coming right at us. So sick. And if you guys remember a while back, we gave Rodrigo the blue and yellow cod and the emperor snapper along with that bumblebee grouper right there. And look how big they've all gotten. It's insane. Dude, look at this tank right here. Like this is the ultimate freshwater tank. It's 3,000 gallons. You got every exotic species you can think of from albino gar to peacock bass, to albino fly rivers, more gar, albino arowana, and honestly, you could probably add a lot more fish. Oh, look at that thing. That is like probably close to the same size as um, our Tessalata, but Rod's got an even bigger one down there. We got a bucket all filled up. That's what we're gonna be transporting him in. Once we get him in the bucket, we'll then get him in the bag, bag him all up. He should be set. I can't really tell the exact size of him because obviously he's in the bin here. So once we get him out, We'll be able to see him a lot better, see his coloration, his size. Look at that. Such a pretty fish, dude. Look at the coloration on that fish. Insane. All right, let's get him in this bucket. We're gonna try to make this as easy as possible on him, less stressful. 
and just wait till um, the light, like when lights are hitting on, on his like skin, you'll, those colors will pop 10 times more. So we're gonna be moving him to the spin just because he is piercing through this bag. We don't wanna have an accident on the way home. So we're just gonna move him in here to be safe, less stressful on him. The less stressful, the better. I mean, obviously he's a big fish in his bag like this, he's got really no room. So we'll move him to this and he'll be all set. Okay, Ty's putting him in. I guess I'm putting him in. It's a big boy. Dude, oh my gosh. We got our big old emperor. He is in this uh, bin here. Alrighty. He is in this bin. He's a heavy boy. Girl, whatever he is. What are they? Girls, boys, emperor angels? I don't know, but we got him in the bin. We got like a 45 minute. Oh, got like a 40. <laughs> you almost had it. Yeah. Try that again. There oh. you go. All right. We got like a 45 minute drive home. He's all secured. Got the aerator on him. We'll be all set. Shout out to Predatory Fins. We'll see you guys when we get back to the house. We're back home at the house. We got our big old Emperor Angel in this uh, bin here. Looks good. Yeah, looks good. All right, well, see you guys once we get inside. We got the Emperor Angel inside at the 200 gallon. We now got to acclimate him. So we got the strip line right here and we're just going to let that slowly drip in just like that. And this guy's going to need a long acclimation process. So we're probably going to give him a whole hour to acclimate. And then once he's done, we'll get him in the tank. Okay, it is time to get this beautiful Emperor Angel into the aquarium. This thing is gonna look so good in here. I mean, he has plenty of room to swim around. He's gonna be the only big fish now that we put Batman in the 3,000 gallon pond. And I think he'll, he'll do good in here. And as soon as I get him in the net, I wanna show you guys the colors real quick. And then you're gonna have to comment down below a name. Holy cow, comment down below a name right now before he goes in the tank. Big old Emperor Angel, absolutely beautiful. Comment down below and let us know because this guy's gonna be a big part of the channel for sure. And I will be going through the comments. Okay, here we go. Okay, 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 lots of water. Boom, he's in, he's in. He spit up some food it looks like, but that's pretty normal when they get a little stressed out, so. Yeah, we're gonna give him some time to get a little acclimated, turn these lights off, close the, the top, and then we'll pick the camera back up in a few hours and see how he's doing. It is the next day. We got our queen emperor angel, or queen emperor, whatever you guys wanna call him. It is absolutely a beautiful fish. By far, probably the most beautiful fish I've owned. He is doing good, or she, I'm not exactly sure. If you guys know the exact gender, I think it is a male. I forget between the queen and the emperors, but I think this is uh, emperor angel, and then the queen is the female. So if you guys have any names you wanna name him, drop them in the comments down below. Other than that, this guy's doing awesome so far. He's been in here for a day and he's just really adjusting to the tank. Nothing's really bothering him. We got our lobster right back under there who pretty much just hides in the caves. We also got sunshine, our banana eel, doesn't really mess with him either. And this guy's pretty much just the, the what would you call it? Like the centerpiece? Yeah, the centerpiece of the tank, exactly. Other than that, man, I'm, I'm stoked. This is one of the coolest fish I think I've ever owned. And like I said, I've always seen them all over the internet. It's pretty rare to come by them this size. And we were able to, shout out to Predatory Fins for hooking it up. Rodrigo is always hooking it up. He's always getting some exotic fish in. So if you guys wanna check them out, his link will be in my description down below. They have a huge website. You can buy fish like this or freshwater fish, either one. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. With that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!